Hi, welcome back to UA Technical Solution. Today's topic is how to troubleshoot train CHHC series screw compressor loading and unloading problem part 1. Before we start with the troubleshooting let's have a basic understanding of compressor. The CHHC compressors consists of three distinct sections. The motor, the rotors and the bearing housing. A two-pole hermetic squirrel cage induction motor directly drives the compressor rotors. The motor is cooled by suction vapor drawn from the evaporator and entering the end of the motor housing. Compressor has only three moving parts, two rotors, male and female, provide compression. And a slide valve that controls capacity, the male rotor driven by the motor, and the female rotor is driven by the male rotor, separately housed bearing sets are provided at each end of both rotors on RTHC, RTHD units, the slide valve is located below, and moves along, the rotors. First step in troubleshooting is to check the basic components functions as shown on the screen under the problem section. If the compressor is not loading, check the respective possible causes, and if compressor is not unloading and running at full load, check the shown possible causes. Follow the instruction to check internal leaks in slide valve piston area. If either a load or unload solenoid valve is suspected of not closing, a piece of shim stock can be placed between the valve and the gasket, sealing off the ports of the valve. This will simulate a closed valve and confirm the diagnosis of a solenoid valve that fails to close. To confirm an internal leak, place a piece of shim stock under both the load, unload solenoid valves. If the Schrader valve pressure still rises, there is an internal leak. How to load compressor manually. For RTHD chiller connect to unit with TechView, change slide valve control from auto to manual, increase the slide valve duty cycle to load the compressor. For RTHC chiller go into the service setting menu and take manual control of the slide valve. Connect a manifold gauge set to the Schrader valve located at the end of the piston housing. This Schrader allows access to the pressure behind the male piston. After start the chiller in auto mode and provide all necessary interlocks and a load to start the chiller. Allow the compressor to start and monitor the compressor currents with a clamp on type ammeter. How to confirm loading operation of CHHC compressor. Once the compressor has started, allow the unload solenoid to remain energized for approximately 45 seconds, then manually load the compressor, using UCP2 or TechView. Record the male piston pressure and compressor currents. Both should gradually increase with each pulse of the load solenoid. Note, all limits are still active. If the chiller enters into a condenser, current, or evaporator limit. Continuously monitor the operating mode. How to confirm unloading operation of CHHC compressor. Manually unload the compressor using the front panel or tech view as previously described. The pressure behind the male piston and the RLA of the unit should gradually decrease with each pulse sent to the unload solenoid. Note. The pressure behind the piston should be approximately suction pressure when the compressor is fully unloaded. The RLA will be dependent on the application. A flow chart is shown of change in piston pressure against the change in compressor capacity or state. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe us at UA Technical Solutions. Let us know in the comment section the topics of your choice to make this channel more relevant to you.